now it's time to customize our single product page here is our single product page layout that i have created using figma let's make it similar first then i'll be changing them later on in another part but first of all my goal is to make similar to this one let's go to customize and click any product here to open single product page so first of all as you can see there is no margin on top and it's attaching with the header area if i view this page from here there is some space on the top but in the customizer it doesn't have any space so let's reload here and see visit again it doesn't have any space here but it has space here so if it's working here then no need to worry about that because sometimes the customizer view is not similar and maybe it's a little bug from themes or plugins so that's not a big deal and now um, let's start from top in here is my design here is the category first then title and then product price let's compare the first one is category then title and the product price but if I just take a look at here on the above it's displaying the product breadcrumbs now from single product catalog if I just scroll down it's a product catalog not single I have to navigate to the single catalog and then scroll down here you can see the category title rating price but it's displaying the path of the product which is uh, basically called breadcrumbs now if i scroll down you can see enable breadcrumbs it's enable if you want to use breadcrumbs you can use these features but if you do not want just close this one now it's only displaying the category product name and the product price also the design here the product name is little bit bigger and i would say it's a 40 pixel so now let's change the font size to 40 pixel font title Forty pixel, and it's now forty. And also change the font weight to bold because it was bold there. And click publish. Reload the page. Now it looks similar. So, if you just take a look at here carefully, there is a price, shipping, and other information. But here we are using. Um, like some kind of attributes and that's why it's displaying differently now let's change it first from here not here okay so not here i'll change the currency later but first change or add the text here first go back to general and scroll down so there should have an option to cook maybe inside the title product navigation so let's enable product navigation to circle so i have enabled the product navigation this one and this is circle you can use square and also if i enable the preview when i hover over it will display the next product and previous product preview here and the free shipping i was looking free shipping and the text here to add besides the pricing option but i'm not sure maybe it's inside extra or price it should be here not here so
so let's navigate to title and see it's not like that i will create another video for title but i do not see maybe they have removed that feature it was there or i am missing something here let's scroll down one by one and single product here's the title rating price add to cart meta extra the extras are here and also the payments options are here so enable shipping text i think this one yes i have found it so here you can see it's displaying now free shipping and also have enabled the other list item features and also the checkout product uh, pricing uh, safe pricing uh, branding which is basically the card like visa mastercard american express that we are accepting our website and now it's time to add attributes which is looks like this click on publish before add any change here and sku and categories let's see if it's there on if it's not there let's disable them meta and simply scroll down there are lots of things here and um, you have to explore one by one and enable sticky i will talk about later i will go through again step by step but now i'm gonna visit miscellaneous and here you can see the quantity plus and minus it should be normal it's normal and the cell notification normal and the input field is modern but where is the attribute enable breadcrumbs sticky product variation layout yes change the drop down to buttons here is the option if i enable this one it looks like this now we have completed our design following the figma here and now if i go to our product page and reload it looks like this and we are done with a section so let's talk about some other features in our next part